What's up, YouTube? Haven here. If you don't know already, you there's a quiz that's happening right now for the kickoff of the uh, Christmas and New Year's event. You might have missed it. It's down here at the bottom here where it says, hey, take the Thunder quiz. And what will happen is uh, you take the quiz, you go through it. And if you complete it, which you can Google all the answers, just Google, use the, use the War Thunder Wikipedia. And if you can complete 10 out of 10 on the quiz, you get a title called Brainiac, which is pretty cool. They just give you the title. And then they open up these, uh, these packs, which are not normally for sale. They're usually limited uh, offered packs. And I'm going to go through each one of them and kind of tell you what I know about them and tell, give you my opinions on whether or not they're uh, worth it or not. The first, let me, let me just get this out of the way though. I don't know anything about the helicopters, all right? I don't, I don't fly the helicopters. These might as well be naval packs to me. I don't know anything about them. I'm going to let you down in the comments, let me know whether you not, you think they're worth them or not, but we're going to go ahead and start with uh, the SAV 2012-48. I don't know why this is showing as me not having this one. I do have this premium. I have a video about this premium. Um, this is a really great premium. I recommend it every time it kind of comes up. Uh, you're looking at this thing, and if you don't know anything about it, you're like, well, what makes it so special? It looks just kind of like a, a casemate or, or a you know, self-propelled gun to me. I don't, I don't get it. Well, what, what the, the um, what makes this cool is it has a 1.2. Uh, second reload of a 120 millimeter gun that shoots um it's showing he i think it's i thought it was h h e a t um but this will absolutely just spam you just spam this on people until they blow up so really great at three seven for sweden it's a premium you can pair it with this sherman which is another great three seven swedish premium um is it worth 20 bucks? I think so. I think especially a lot of people haven't started to grind Sweden. If you want to get a really good jump start on that, um, this is just a lot of fun. Uh, and 3.7 Sweden in general is just a cracked uh, lineup. It's got the T-34. It's got the Panzer IV. It's got the Sher premium, premium Sherman, if you get that. And then it's got this Sav 2012-48. Uh, lots and lots of fun. A lot of people have done reviews on it. Go check them out. It's obviously a glass cannon, uh, but this one's a lot of fun. I recommend it. Next is going to be the Sabre. This is the premium F Sabre, right? So no missiles, rockets, and bombs, and I think it's going to be at 8.7 or 9.0 or something like this. This is, uh, oh yeah, and also it's 50 bucks. This is going to be a pass for me. I would not recommend this. Looks like they're trying to sell it to you as a ground pounder, which it might be. And if you need that gap there for that eight-ish range, uh, maybe worth it. Um, but it still only has the the 50 cals it's, and it has 16 HVARs and a couple thousand. So I don't see beyond the premium bonus. This looks like the F Saber in the tech tree. Um, and if I'm going to spend 50 bucks on a premium uh, jet, it's going to be the F5C. So go get the F5C rather than this one, unless you just want this for like ground pounding for some reason, I'm not really sure. Uh, but this is a skip for me. Um, doesn't really justify the cost here. All right, moving on to the Sevamonte 105 slash 25. So this is a $25 premium. Um, it's a tank destroyer. It's got a, yeah, a heat AT, um, 105 caliber cannon. What's special about this, especially if you haven't already ground out the Italian tech tree, this, th that front plate is actually pretty good. And I have a really old uh, video on this. Go check it out. But that front plate there is actually a pretty good amount of armor, especially at the BR range, which this is it. And this, the BR is actually, uh, it's either three or three O. And that's what makes this worth picking up. If you haven't started on the Italian ground tree, is that it is a rank three, so you can participate on the challenges, all the dailies, at BR 3.0, or I think it's 3.0 or 3.3, but I mean, you're essentially seal clubbing at that BR range, but if you want to knock out your daily real quick, or if you want to grind the Italian tech tree real quick, and you just want to jump start on it, I recommend this uh, for that purpose. It's a lot of fun occasionally, like if you have a, you know, kill X number in the, a self-propelled uh, gun or uh, tank destroyer or whatever, 
you know, it's available to you. There's nothing really super special about it except for this front plate actually works the BR range because it's low BR and it's rank three. So this is going to be a pass or excuse me, a, a buy if you need it. And when I bought it, uh, I needed it for the Italian tech tree. So I, that's why I got it. It came up for the Italian armed forces thing like two years ago. So that's why I have it. Uh, moving on. Uh, again, I've already covered the helicopters. I don't know. I will, I will open them up for you. It seems like it's like unguided rockets and the 40 millimeter grenade launcher. And I don't, I don't know. Uh, six toes. So maybe it's good. I don't know. You guys tell me in the, uh, they don't even show the toes in action here. Which is crazy. Seems like that would be the primary weaponry. Um, but yeah, let me know if this is worth it in the comments, uh, whether or not I should be recommending it. It's 40 bucks. I have no idea. I really, I don't know. Same thing with the hind. Uh, I don't know what BR range this is going to fall at. I don't know if this is a good helicopter. I don't know if it's, if it's like, a, I think this one's come up several times. The hind D I'm pretty sure there's multiple videos out there about it. Um, I think the last time I kind of investigated this to see if it was maybe be the, a good one to jump in with. And I, I ended up not buying it, especially not at 40 bucks. So I don't know. That's, I guess my take on it. Let's talk about what I've been really trying to get to though here, which is the one Oh nine Zwilling. The last time this was offered was like on the anniversary of the first one Oh nine flight, like two years ago. And I bought it then it was the first Thing that I bought with real money and not golden eagles in the game at the time it was a really stupid purchase I was thinking oh man I wasted my money but I just have definitely gotten my $30 out of it I enjoy the heck out of flying this thing it is a 4.7 BR basically bomber interceptor if you've flown the American F-82 with the, the 50 cal pod this is the equivalent instead of two Mustangs strapped together it's two 109 strapped together it's got four 30 millimeter, you know, those Mark 108 auto cannons, which if those touch anything, they blow up. And this has just absolutely been my bomber interceptor. I play this thing super casually. I take it out. I attack bombers and interceptors with it. Um, I use it for like the bomber tasks. It it climbs like crazy. It, it has, think like a 109 in the doublet, right? I climb it like 25 degrees off the runway. And then once you actually reach altitude, you then put it in a, in a straight line and it'll push 600 kilometers an hour up at that altitude. It is fast and it climbs and you could do a lot with that. I do a lot of energy traps and stuff with that. It's hard to get the guns on target because of, you know, the, the fact that it's a, a dual engine kind of motor setup like this. So it doesn't like to turn, but it will do loops and so you can energy trap people with it. It's still difficult to get those guns on, but like I said, you only need to get one shell on for it to really connect. So this is an expensively stupid thing that I recommend. Uh, 30 bucks is kind of stupid expensive for it, but I've gotten my money's worth out of it. There are a couple of reviews out there. Uh, you have a very limited round count. I think you only have 250 rounds for your four cannons so you do the math there but yeah maximum speed at altitude which it's not that hard to get up to four thousand five thousand meters in this thing it will still if especially if you hate bombers that run away and like drag the match on forever you can catch them they're 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 easy to get so this is kind of like a th cathartic purchase if you just want to get out there and blow some bombers up and watch them blow up in a spectacular fashion here you go. The Zwilling is a lot of fun. All right. KV2 Ziz six pack. Um, I don't have this one. I'll tell you why. I think when I looked at this the last time it was on sale, I want to say basically I didn't find it to be worth 25 bucks in a BR range for Russia, which already has a lot of really good premiums. And that's why I skipped it. 25 bucks is just a bit too much for me. And when you, there are some other, you know, premiums in that BR range, I, I, I already have the KV one E, which is a limited time pack, which that would be what I would recommend versus this one. And I think it's mainly the, the reload that gets me. I think about this one. 
Um, and then I, I, I'm not sure. I think Oddboz did a pretty good video on it. It just didn't strike me as worth having. Which, by the way, if you ever face these uh, KV2s, the place to shoot them right here is this flat point right below whichever cannon this applies to any of the KV2s. Just shoot them in the neck right here, right below the cannon breach, and that gets all of the crew in here and the crew down at the bottom. You're at the very least going to disable all the crew up here. They're not going to shoot. So I see people struggling shooting with KV-2s all the time. Just shoot them right there in the neck. Uh, but anyways, that's a bit of a tangent. I would not consider this to be worth 25 bucks. That's all. I think it, maybe it's a perfectly fine premium, but I think there are plenty of other premium options for the Russian ground forces in this BR range that are much less expensive than 25 bucks. So, all right. And then finally, the... Uh, PE2-205, my understanding is it is one of the oldest premiums that is available to you in the game. It's very infrequently offered, and there's probably a good reason for it, because when I got it, I got it as part of that big uh, like VE Day pack where I pretty much bought all the rare World War II stuff, and it's pretty terrible. It's just it's just not that great. The airframe doesn't justify, certainly does, doesn't justify the cost. Uh, IL-2 is a better ground pounder. The bomb load that they're showing here is quite impressive, but I don't think it's really that great. I, I would have to log into the game and, and uh, look at the actual bomb load. But I just, every time I've flown it, I've not been impressed with the flight performance, and there are just better options in the tech tree. I just, it's not worth it. If you want to spend 20 bucks on a premium in this range, get the ITP. You know, this is, this is just not that great. So that's about it, guys. Here's my opinions on the limited time packs. These are all stuff that kind of come and go. I was mostly excited to see the Z, the Zwilling back, because that's been a while since it's been offered, and I recommend it. Uh, and then the the Sav, they tend to offer quite a bit more. I've, this is about annually. It's been offered like two or three times since I've been playing in the last two and a half years, so use that information. This one was only offered at the Italian Armed Forces thing two years ago, and then this has been two or three times. These two have been at least once or twice, and this has been once. So, and this one just skipped it. So, but that's it. Let me know in the comments where I'm wrong or what I what I screwed up. I think you know these are just my opinions. So, let me know if you got a different one. I'm I'm interested to hear. Uh, and uh, give me a like and subscribe if you're still here. Much appreciated. The channel will grow and, and uh, I want your input on it and uh, we'll take it from there guys. Appreciate you.